Abbas's secretary, the spokesperson for the PA, has said, if Israel doesn't come back to the negotiating table and give us our land back, we're going to upgrade the Intifada from knives to rifles. Why is he doing this? You know why? Because the knives haven't worked. Yeah, they killed some Jews. But many more attackers have been killed. About 95% of the attackers are dead. Some people call this an execution. It's not an execution. It's whoever comes to take your life, you take theirs first. And so since that hasn't worked, we're going to make them be afraid of rifles. The problem is with that, Mr. P.A., is that we also have rifles. And we've never used them attacking civilians. Because Israel is a moral state, a democratic state, an ethical state. You have no ethics, morals, and certainly not a democracy. So you don't care how many people you kill among your own, and certainly how many Jews you kill. Because as far as you're concerned, Jews are like monkeys and pigs, and you don't care much for them anyway. So here's the thing, Mr. P.A. The knives haven't worked, the bombs haven't worked. You know it works? Sincerity, honesty, education, a better life for your people. You know, when you started the Intifada, Israel had a lot of Arab workers, and a lot of people were willing to put their money and place their money into efforts to raise the standard of living of the average Arab living in Judea and Samaria, which you want to call Palestine. What's happened since the Intifada is that the Israelis, to protect themselves, no longer hire your guys. And to protect themselves against your attacks, make restrictions on you. Now this I can tell you without any question. If there was no attacks, there would be no barriers. There would be lots of people working lots of cooperatives, and a lot of prosperity. So why don't you want that? Why hasn't that happened? For two reasons. Number one, you're a thug. Whatever somebody else earns, you have to steal. I'm saying this to you, Mr. Abbas, and to all your underlings. You're a bunch of thugs, a bunch of thieves who've stolen the billions of dollars that have been given by the world for the sake of the Palestinians. A thug doesn't want peace because a thug only wants more things to steal. You made peace, there'd be nothing to steal because you'd have a normal economy. The second reason, you don't want to talk about it, but it's true. You hate Jews. And you can't make peace with Jews. And the proof of the matter is, is that they were willing on several occasions to give you everything you wanted, basically. With one caveat, recognize that Israel is a Jewish state. And you couldn't do it. You know why you couldn't do it? Because you don't want a Jewish state. You want Jews dead. The only good Jew, as far as you're concerned, is a dead Jew. Well, all Jews are good as far as I'm concerned. And I wish I could say, well, Arabs are good. I can't say that. Because they teach the kids to kill my kids. And I'm not interested in any of that. And so, Mr. P.A., stop your smirk. You sit. You go to the peace table. And you close all those stupid schools where they teach kids to do jihad and kill people. They don't do this in the United States, and in Western Europe they don't do this, except in your madrasas.
Stop being a schmuck. Don't think people can't see through you. The people who can't see through you are Jimmy Carter, and everybody knows he's an ignoramus, and Kidney Brain Kerry, and everybody knows that his ego gets in the way of his intellect. So if you really want to deal with smart people, normal people, do the normal thing. The problem is, I don't think you can do normal things. Because your hatred and your lust for other people's money is too great. See, if you weren't a thug, you'd be a nice guy. If you weren't an idiot, I'd go to school with you. Too bad.